Okay, so this video today is about whether or not PPC agencies, most of them out there, 9 out of 10, basically. I have took a formal study on this, but I've pretty much looked over most of the bigger companies and some of the smaller companies work, a lot of the smaller companies work, and tell you why most of them fail in delivering an ROI for their clients. Ultimately, um, you know, if you hire a PPC company, the person they give you, they may be friendly. That's usually their, 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 their strength, their account manager they give you is friendly. You would, you know, call them a friend. You would, you know, even go and drink a beer with that person. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's kind of a ruse. Uh, they don't, and because it's actually quite difficult if you run an agency to get good results for the client. And I'm going to talk about in this video the few times that maybe potentially they can get you good results. And most of the time, nine out of the ten times they can't get your results. Why that is, you actually understand and this, you understand that it's not just fluff that I'm telling you here. So ultimately you can avoid being the many, many companies out there that try to hire a PPC company, especially for the first couple times or a couple, you know, the first time that they do that. So you don't get hopes, basically, is the main purpose that I have for making this video and for you uh, watching it today. So why 9 out of 10 PPC agencies cannot make you any money or get an ROI from the services they provide? It's not actually what you think. So I'm going to give you uh, myself having or in actually running a PPC agency. I'm going to give you the inside knowledge and the rub on how the industry works and why most PPC agencies don't work. And um, so you understand how to actually, if you are going to still hire one, how to choose one that, that is basically not going to rip you off if you want to say that. So won't name any names here. I'll just give you the general warning signs, if you will, of the companies, the type of companies that don't work and more so why they don't work. Um, sometimes it's very hard to tell who you're actually dealing with. Anyway, the first, as usual, I have a list here of things that, you know, the, the pros and cons and things to know and so on and so forth on how to answer this question for yourself on the videos that I make. The first thing on our, our list here today is, I just want to say, partially it's not their fault. Uh, so in other words, I'm focusing a little bit of the blame on the buyer, the, the end client, the, the, it themselves, as to why you're not getting results. And if you you know, have done this, don't take it, you know, offense to this. I'm just letting you know from an insider's perspective what you can do. So next time you hire somebody, you're going to be able, they can get you the results as well as you have the capability to understand who to hire that actually can get the results if they wanted to. But, you know, results, bottom line, cost a lot of money. Most people want to believe that doing these PPC ads is simple and easy to do. Google, I'll bring Google part, uh, into this conversation, is also partially to blame because, not really blame, I'm, I'm just saying, it was, it, it, they are not, are not intentionally trying to do this, I don't think anyway, but they're making it, they're, people are deceiving themselves by how easy it looks to set up a Google Ads account for yourself and actually get something that'll work for your company, will generate ROI, so on and so forth. And that if you go to Google Ads, you know, google.com slash ads, sign up for an account, they make it seem like in 15 minutes you have an ad account that can produce a profit for you. And I could tell you, here's just a news flash here for you. Unless you sell something like groundbreaking technology or the only one in your area, and there's overwhelming demand for what you offer, you know, you're in a an area that got hit by a, a, a hurricane and you're the only roofer in town, you're not going to make a really good 8 to 10 or 800% uh, to 1000% ROI that most companies want just by spending 15 minutes to set up, setting up your account like that. And you're also not going to get it, by the way, by going in there and once a month checking on it and, and spend five minutes applying all the auto suggestions that Google system suggests to you. It's why there's actually uh, ad managers and consultants out there. If it was that easy, of course, there wouldn't be those people. But not only that, if it was that easy, it wouldn't be worth anything. As in life, anything that's easy isn't worth much, right? So 
you know, it's not, it's too good to be true if you, um, you know, ultimately. So I, I don't want to say again that Google's trying to deceive people, but con, you know, a lot of people don't. I'd say 80% of people don't set up conversion tracking for their account right away, so they don't know what return they're getting. They're judging their ads whether or not they work or not based upon does is the phone ringing and is my bank account exploding. And when you have other traffic sources and or you don't analyze things that well, even along those lines, it's extremely hard to know if you got an eight to one return because you know there's competition. You're talking about small margins. You know you got to know what your numbers are. You got to know if you're hitting them, you know, precisely in order to know if you're just basically losing. It doesn't take much to be on the other side of profitability. So you got to track things well. And, and then I, I want to say that most people, when they set, spend 15 minutes, they're in that club that think that they could just spend 15 minutes setting up their account. They're losing money and they just don't know it. If they keep going, if they are, are to keep going from there. They're basically just giving Google, the only one that wins is Google in that situation. Google doesn't want that, but ultimately, inadvertently, that's what happens. So anyway, Google gives you sort of the perception that it's easier than it is. And so... They try Google out, you know, doing just what I mentioned, you know, spending the 15 minutes, set up the account with the audio suggestions. Maybe you talk to a Google manager and then you eventually go and you think, oh, I need an expert to help me do this. You hire the expert. You're still under the perception that this is easy. It's funny, most of our uh, clients at our firm, I always say, unless you fail with three other agents or two or three other agencies before, you're not going to get the guarantee that our firm offers. It's extremely hard to get good results. Marketing is probably, in terms of making a profit and building a system that can produce millions of dollars in, in profitable uh, results from your advertising is basically one of the hardest things that you're gonna do there unless you're, you know, of course, other than inventing what you're doing, you know, the product or service that you're having. And so they go into it thinking it's gonna be easy and then now all they gotta do is hire a company that says PPC management firm and they have a lot of awards and you're good, right? 500 bucks a month, great, right? And most of the time, those are the, you know, 910 companies by default really don't, are able to produce a profit. The one clients that they do have probably don't know they're getting ROI because again, they don't, a lot of times they don't encourage conversion tracking because they know they can't get it. But they're, from their perspective, they going into the second thing here, they know it does take a lot of money and time to get results. So they're taking the approach that, well, the client doesn't want to believe it's expensive. If I tell them it's going to cost 5000 a month or whatever, it doesn't really have to cost quite that much, but they'll be, they're going to be freaked out and they're going to go to somebody else. Therefore, I will tell them it's cheap. It's what they want to hear. Great salesmen, everybody hate them because they tell you what you want to hear. Because what you want to hear a lot of times is irrational, but they, that's not how you make a sale. So they sell it to you cheap, and then they give it to you cheap. And then when they give it to you cheap, that's not where the results come from. And so people buy it cheap because they don't know the consequences, they don't have the experience, and there's not enough people who run Google Ads, but they know somebody else who runs Google Ads to kind of school them as to what you need to do or get a referral or whatever. And or they got a referral from somebody and their ad's been running for three years and when they start up their ads they think it's going to be as profitable as the other guy and it takes time for the ads to get spooled up. And it might be a different product that's a little bit easier to sell. So they don't have any education as to hiring a good PPC firm. It's, it's way different than almost any other professional services that you're going to hire. It's not cookie cutter stuff. There's no college course that's going to teach you how to do it. But what a lot of firms will do is hire, you know, the I call them a body shop. That term, I didn't invent that term, of course, but you fill it with warm bodies. You're going to get somebody that's going to work on your account, but they don't know what they're doing. And if they did, they wouldn't be working there. They would either be a consultant, make way more, or they would sell something themselves. Now, that's not hard and cold truth for every single situation, right? But you want to know that... You're, you need to identify patterns if you're going to be able to not go broke in the process of finding someone that can make you money. That's the reality of the situation, okay? So they don't think it should be expensive. They don't want it to be expensive. Therefore, they hire someone for cheap. That person gives you what you ultimately want. And then when the results are not in, 
they moved on to another client, churn and burn. Okay. But anyway, the second thing on our list of though here, <laughs> when people start out, it's, you mean maybe even if they've hired a firm already and failed, which is the second one, or they just don't understand, how, they don't know somebody who's made a lot of money with Google Ads yet. Clients, because they have been burned before, or they don't understand how Google Ads, how it works yet, or don't believe in it yet all the way, won't invest much into the process until it starts working. So that's the total, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll, you'll have heard this many times. It's a total wrong, wrong approach. It's hard to get results. When the ads work, you can make millions of dollars a year in your, in your space if you expand the campaign you want to grow your business. Everybody knows where Google Ads is in your space. Out of the 20, 30 people that do have ads running, there's probably three or four in your space roughly that really make most of the money and everybody else is losing or breaking even. Everybody wants to be that three or four. Who's going to be able to be the one that gets that? It's going to be the one that realizes that they're going to put the most effort into it, honestly, and or the most money in it to find the right person that can do it, and actually a combination of both of those things. So they'll spend, oh, I'll spend just a few thousand in, into this. If it doesn't work, well, at least I didn't lose a lot. Well, then you might as well just take your money, put it into a pile while you're not on fire, because you would have more entertainment and value seeing the nice, pretty orange, yellow flames from that fire than you're going to have later on feel like you got ripped off again or by somebody because you didn't invest the proper amount of time that it actually takes to get over the hump for profitability. The, hard, the hardest part of making millions of dollars from your Google Ads is actually getting over the hump of the setup, what I call sales funnel. Sales funnel is usually a term designated to like click funnel people and stuff, people that build landing pages and stuff, but you've got to get a funnel of people that you identify can be profitable, that you pay for to get to your site, and then a process to convert them into a customer. I don't want to get into a detail here, but that takes to come up with really good ad copy. You've got to be a good copywriter. You'd be able to have an ad that's not as good as the competition, but better, where you're going to get lower than average rates and cost per click. And, and Google floats the prices up to the point where unless you're going to do better, you're not, probably not going to make money. That, that's why they're make, That's why they're Google. <laughs> they make a lot of money. They, and they're trying to actually, it's on purpose, they're trying to encourage people to do a great job with their advertising that helps people want to click on ads in the future. So if you want to make money, you have to you know, kind of play by Google's rules. And uh, you know, it takes a long time to get a landing page that converts well. It has good copy and imagery and eyeball and everything. And then you have to have the right keywords. And so on, there's a bunch of little teeny tiny pieces that build the entire puzzle of whether or not you've got a funnel that's going to work for you. And from my perspective, we're the only agency that guarantees or does any kind of contingency work here. We spend 100 to 200 hours in initial setup just for a new account, just so that they can initially get to initial profitability and not over break even in the first you know, two or three months. It's all, it's like war, it's all in the preparation. Who, the, who pre prepares better and the most is going to win. But more so, that, you know, once you make money, it's, you know, it's a process to actually make a lot of money. But you're never going to get to, you're going to run out of money before you ever get over that hump if you don't invest enough into it. So yes, it's scary spending, you know, potentially 10K or 20K and a great landing page and a great ad and a great campaign setup. But if you don't do that, you're probably not going to be able to beat your competitors who have been at this year for years, frankly, and have lots of time and testing and effort and money that they from ads that already make money put back into it. That if you ever stand a chance to make this work, you're going to have to invest some money and do it to get it to work. The millions you make later on makes makes the 10, 20 grand you invest into it to get it to start working is literally nothing. So you should view it like that. Anyway, the third thing on the list here is, uh, from, so this is the inside information here again uh, from the industry itself, me being one person in the industry, the uh, PPC ad managers, PPC agencies, is hiring PPC staff is very hard. Going back to what I was saying before, if you had somebody who's extremely good at running ads, they have all kinds of opportunities. For the most part, we've created a boutique agency 
in that I'm not even trying to find somebody who can do it all. I have set up a unique process here that can get results, but doesn't use the same process that most other you know, body shops, as I call it before, are using, because that body shop model doesn't work. And so I, therefore, I just stay completely uh, away from it. You post an ad for a PPC manager or a PPC firm, first of all, there's very few people that will even apply for that job. The people that apply, they're looking for a job for a reason. Everybody in the agency world wants a good manager because there basically is very few of them out there. And if you do get one, you're not going to hold on to them very long. They're going to realize their, their value soon and then they're going to do something else. So, and, and that ties into my number four here. How come our firm actually is able to guarantee results and nobody else can and how I actually have figured it out and then I can serve more than a couple of clients here. I've created a different process entirely from what these body shops do and that it's more similar to a doctor's office. I have an infrastructure of a system. We test all the strategies before we are executing them. We know it works. And there's a certain set of strategies that will work for a certain company based on what they're doing. And then we execute it in that we know the outcome then before we do it because we've seen the process you've worked before and we've tried it literally hundreds of times before we even worked on that account. And I strategize all the clients' accounts from the, from the get-go using my 15 years of experience knowing what, which of those pieces of the puzzle needs to be in place for that particular client. And then I have a whole staff that can execute and roll out those strategies. I check them afterwards and that's where the results come from. You need the big picture person who has the 15 years of experience and seeing all these strategies work for hundreds of clients over time to be able to know fundamentally what works and what doesn't. It's similar to hiring a lawyer. Yes, you can hire a lo any, any lawyer. Everybody inherently knows the $800 uh, an hour lawyer is way amazing compared to the one that just graduated college. This is kind of the same way, but even more intense than that. And so if I could hire a bunch of people that could get results and would get paid only if they get results to work for my firm, I would hire them. I, you know, for all practical purposes, that's not a working model. And so we take on our, you know, 20, 30, 40 clients at a time. I strategize all those clients personally, and therefore they actually get somebody who knows what they're doing. And so not to say that the, another, other people like me don't exist out there, that's not the case. The people that's going to choose to work for the firm, it's going to work there. Once they get knowledge, they're probably going to do something else because you can make six figures a year doing a number of other things other than being a mid-level PPC manager at a firm or even a strategist at a bigger firm, for the most part. Until you're paying you know, 10000 to 50000 a month on pay-per-click management, you're probably not going to get somebody who really knows what they're doing, like I'm doing, actually working on your account. Just to put it into perspective, we don't charge that much because I have a very efficient process like a doctor's office where the doctor only comes in at the exact moment he needs to come in to look at the evidence, know exactly what to do, and then staff handle it after that. So anyway, that tells you a little bit about how to be successful. So in other words, A, know how if you're getting snow, and I never brought that up, so that when you hire somebody you can tell if you're getting results. Do conversion tracking. Identify going in what your numbers need to be. Hire a PPC agency that isn't the cheapest one out there and that you has good references and hire big accounts. And then go into it and then even with that, it's still not, you're not gonna be able to, there's no iron clad process for choosing the right agency. A few thousand dollars a month is probably in the range of, you know, that actually can start to get results. For me, other agencies that can actually build profitable campaigns or, you know, they start with three grand a month, realistically, and then let them work for three to six months and see if they can hit your number that you identified up front that you need to hit in terms of cost per conversion or cost per sale to get your ROI or just the ROI that you're looking for with the conversion tracking. And if they can't hit it in six months, agree to go somewhere else. And if you hire, you know, a, a, a company for five grand a month, they can take your number in six months, it's a good value still. I just personally recommend staying away from the people that charge 500 a month, 1,000 a month. But it's so hard to get results, it's not their fault, the companies that don't that do that, that don't get results because even if hiring a moderately good PPC person, it's expensive. So you're not gonna, there's no free lunch. So somewhere, somehow, 
the money has to come in in order to get the campaign set up, right? To outdo the competition, because this isn't just something you can show up and just do the cookie cutter thing anymore and make money. That ended five you know, plus years ago. It's PPC is more now, make it work. Anyway, that pretty much covers why most agency, PPC agencies can't get your results. You can check out my other videos. I have other videos like this, but and more so go over PPC strategies on how to make money. You can also go to guaranteedppc.com and check out my blog, where I've got step-by-step -step PPC money-making strategies if you'd like those. Strategies you're not gonna be able to see mapped out like that anywhere else on the web. And I do hope you subscribe. I have a video every day that, that goes over how to actually make money with PPC, unlike, you know, again, a lot of other channels that go over and, and glaze over the general stuff. I tell you exactly what you need to know to be able to make that money with your campaigns if you want to be successful. If you hire an agency and have any questions about that, leave a comment down below. I'll be able to potentially answer any questions that I haven't answered in this video for you. And I uh, hope you, uh, have, I wish you luck in your, your uh, efforts and finding somebody to help you set up your ad campaigns there from scratch and ultimately start making you money if you aren't already.